people right, right now are out in force trying to explain away or blame this or blame that. Uh, you've got right big screen leaks responding to variety. Variety. You conveniently forgot to mention. This is the only MCU film without actors promoting it due to being on strike. You and other outlets certainly seem to remember it when Loki season two, okay, premiere numbers came out. And even by saying Loki, okay, premiere numbers, they were a fucking disaster. Yes. Like this, this dude tries to spin everything for Marvel. Wait, were they, were the actors out promoting Barbie? So the actors went on strike before they completed their thing. They did some interviews. They did some press things. But they didn't complete it, no. Yeah, okay. If you remember, the Oppenheimer actors got pulled off the red carpet at the premiere, I think. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it wasn't like they were out there during the week of doing the doing Tonight Show and all that shit. In fact, all like the Tonight Show and all that shit that they're talking about, this is the next one. Searches for Brie Larson the past week peaked at the exact moment she appeared on the Tonight Show. It's almost like the Marvels was missing a certain element to its marketing or something. Wow. But remember the Tonight Show and all that shit? That was writer's strike stuff. So yeah. they weren't even able to go onto those type of shows because that wasn't the actor strike. That was the writer strike thing. It's wild how these people are trying to do damage control. You see, can we get some toast? This dude who's been shilling for Marvel too. And yet some people continue to say the stars, the Marvels actually promoted the movie would have had zero effect. I don't think it would have had zero effect. I think it actually would have hurt the movie more personally. I this don't fucking freak and his like, he blamed every single thing. Fans, YouTubers, bingo uh, the card strike marvel i mean he just blamed everything the the best one was right there he goes uh that one he goes uh they didn't put it next to a big film like the first movie yeah they didn't artificially <laughs> boost it like it, it's so fucking wild scott mendelson said basically the same thing look at some of these responses the marvels earned just 6.6 6 million looking for an under 50 million dollar opening once again, big thanks to everyone who waited to diversify their superhero franchises until right before the subgenre stopped being an automatic event. Gets a response, movie isn't good, Scott. Gotta include that as part of this outcome. That wouldn't have mattered in 2016. It wouldn't have mattered whether the movie was good or not a couple years ago. It's uh, actually yeah. a, 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 an honest point. Uh, look at this. Diversity is the problem, great, Scott. The problem is that this film as it exists would have been a much bigger hit years ago, but we spent 90% of the superhero boom centering them on white guys named Chris. Wow. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's wild to see the cope that is out there from people. And again, people that are Chris. like people that are insiders and leakers that are trying to stay on like the good side of Marvel studios right now. Shit like that. Yeah. Interesting to see how that works. The Marvel's, is bad. I wasn't expecting a hundred ten million dollar global debut. That is beyond what I thought the worst could be.